Howdy gang, Tiger is back. Today, we're gonna do another haul video. And I know I need to do a very urgent friend mail video. I got friend mail, hi Mildred. <laughs> I got friend mail from Hope, from Alice, and of course, Tina, the eclectic treasure hunter. And the dog comes without mail. That's just the friend. Hi Tina, <laughs> Mildred. One of these things, like this one here, I got that from Hope last weekend. She gave me that. She found it at the end, uh, antique and flea market and picked it up for me. I'm really happy with that. Thank you very much. Uh, there's more, but there will be a separate video or the next video. I don't have enough space for a whole one haul video. I don't like long videos. Myself, I cannot watch long videos. My attention span just kind of like goes whoop after about 15, 20 minutes. So that's why I usually set all my videos that I watch on one and a half or 175 or even two times the speed, but depending on who it is. Some of you folks are very nice speaking slowly, which works because that way there, everybody can understand you. I know sometimes I, well, I was again, I was speaking really fast because, you know, my, my brain was so fast and I was so smart and so intelligent that, that my mouth could just not follow my brain. <clears throat> yeah. So anyways, <laughs> uh, the point of this is that if you speak slowly, then at least people can understand you and can hear you. But uh, I can always go faster and save time and watch more videos that way and still understand you. If you speak too fast, then the whole speeding up things is not is gonna make you into a chipmunk, and we don't like that. Well, some people do, I don't. But after all this talk, I just want to run you by some of the pieces that I picked up last weekend, because I got a whole table full. Some of them are may or may not be in my sale tomorrow on Thursday. Oh, and I do have the guy out uh, outside working on my oleander and it's just started to rain so there's a chance he may knock on the door and interrupt this video if that's the case don't fret i make it into a two-parter so for instance my famous fruit bowl comes with glass fruit now I picked up these pieces of glass fruit now the bowl doesn't come with it. If anybody's interested in purchasing the bowl, however, send me an email. But these are really nice pieces. These are really nice pieces. So, I also have, unfortunately it's only one piece, but glass candy. And it's a big one. Some of these pieces may or may not be in tomorrow's sale. Oh, I just said that, so I'm saying it again. For instance, I already have this totally cool pitcher slated for the sale. Ain't that beautiful? Oh, I have a reflection there. Sorry about that. But ain't that totally cool? Now this is not marked. It very much looks Mexico. Obviously, there's a waro, there's the... So, you know, just the beauty of it and the uniqueness now inside this is where it was made it's not broken it's just worth it for me to offer this to you because we all have plenty of vases and even mugs um dear youtube could you make this the thumbnail please <laughs> i know i need to get in the habit of taking thumbnails but i'm just ah oh, i keep forgetting and there's another vase. This one is a little bit, I just love the, I just love the design on this thing. I even got birds and the painting. It does not mark either. And that's where there's a little bit of a, of a, I don't know why they left it like that or if someone painted it over, but it's just a beautiful piece. I, I am totally in love with that. Um, then I got, yeah, I think I already mentioned these, uh, these two. Now this one is going into my collection until anybody, someone really wants it. Let me know, send me an email. Now I do have this elusive, <laughs> elusive uh, uh, bottle 
bottle tree I want to build a mic whatever which I probably never make but anyways there's more glass I picked up last weekend but oh, I got that all from the same person now I don't know nothing and about these things but these are totally cool pieces and there's the mermaid in Copenhagen now this is not B&G this is another I think I have another piece of, of that company it still sells for good money this one was cheap and I do like the mermaid for personal reasons but then look at this ain't that a nice dish this may or may not be in tomorrow's sale if not tomorrow it will be on in a future sale it's just a really nice piece and a little bit larger and it's got handles it's oval and look at the design it's just really nice I mean I keep saying that word it's boring not this piece I am and the design here yeah and there is this little piece which is I believe it's older it does have a signature there but it is not marked on the back but it is just a cool piece and I love the there you go I really like that I know this is the kind of stuff that I would pick up that a lot of people don't and I know I've tried I've tried offering it to you all you are not interested in that I don't blame you because there's so much to buy you gotta draw the line somewhere I understand that but I, I we will bring back the china eventually. We will bring back the nice plates and the nice, you know, soup, terrines, vegetable dishes, whatever they're all called. And then you're gonna come running to me because you know I have it. <laughs> yeah, baby, I'm planning ahead now and in the year 2039, when I can hardly overlook you and you'll be coming to me for it. Yeah, okay. Now these, now this is a mixed lot. Some of these came from Gucciville, some of these came from the antique market. Look at those guys, aren't they beautiful? I just love these guys. I had to pick them up. Um, and there's the glasses I picked up. I don't know why I picked up a whole bunch of these, especially these, because these were a little bit more on the pricey side. But I looked them up on eBay, they sell for good money on eBay, so if all else fails, I send, I send them to eBay and I, I do have my little, my little back thing, but I forgot that in the, in the other room. And then there are these glasses, which I like even better because they have uh, transportation. Whoop. Nah. Let's see, what can we put behind it? Here we go. Here we go. I really like these, the trains. See, and these were the ones for the leaves. Now, these are probably meant to be wine glasses, but they're too small. They're probably cherry glasses or something like that. Look at that. I really like those. Those are really nice. Then I have a couple of mugs that I just couldn't resist, especially this one. It's the kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> there we go yeah I just washed it Fritz and Floyd that's a nice one and there's the, the puppy 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 there's the puppy 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 that one is nice well I keep I gotta stop saying nice let's go back to totally cool yep that's a nicer word <laughs> a cooler word and I got one of these one of these little oil things it was a good price usually i find them at the malls and they're like 20 25 30 bucks or more and rusty this one is not even rusty then i have one of these which uh, weird weird thing is that the, the lid does not seem to fit properly but it's the same design so it does seem to be belong, or maybe it's a different one of the same design it happens to have this lid that came from, but it was sold like this. And it does work. So that's another one of these pieces. 
Oh, I'm gonna be everything I can reach I'm gonna show today and everything I cannot reach I'm gonna show another time Plus some of these items again. I'm gonna show you this today so you can come to my sale tomorrow Thursday the 24th on uh, on my channel at 11 a.m. Eastern Look at that a little beaded. It's kind of this is that the kind of boho thing that you're looking for? It's an excellent shape. It looks brand new, never used. It has some a little bit of weight to it, not like uh, 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 um, because of the shipping I'm saying that, but because of the quality, which means it's quality work and quality beads. That one is really nice. And then this one I'm proud of. Whoops, there's, oh yeah, there's a lot more. A lot more jewelry that... <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm kind of, uh, yeah, I'm so organized, really, you can tell, right? Look at this. This one will be in the sale tomorrow for sure. That's a nice leather bag, very boho looking. It's a fossil. So yes, it's a name brand. It has been used, so there you can probably see some moderate wear and tear, but nothing that's worth mentioning. It's in good shape, it's clean. It has the the tag in here. So yeah, this is a real nice piece. It's got a, a couple of stains just from wear from news, but it's you could be probably be rubbed out with a with a suede brush, but I would just leave it. That gives it character. Because I don't know about you all, but me? When I see stuff like that, that's had a life before my life, before me, before coming to me, before meeting me, <laughs> I always wonder. Now with cats and dogs, it's easy. You can tell by the way they, they act, how they were treated, if they were lucky, if they were happy or not, if they were mistreated. But with those ina inanimate objects, is that the word? Inanimate? In well, those pieces that don't talk for it, speak with a mouth. They speak with the marks and with the stains and every little thing and the cracks. They tell you the story. That's what I like. I like the story. I like to hear the story. I like to, oh, look at that. I got my, my Angry Birds hat on. I had that a few, 10 years ago. I bought that when I was temporarily living in Denver because I needed something warm and I was big into Angry Birds then. It was fun back then, before everything was pay or too much advertisement or whatever. I like that. <laughs> and it's cold today. It's a cold day. A cold and dry and rainy day in Arizona. Those are the days I love now because we have so few of them. But let me stop talking and start showing you more stuff. There is, oh yeah, the turtle. The turtle. And that's a very light turtle, even though it's wood. I really like this turtle. It does have a tag, something about, um, this probably is the one we needed. That, I don't know, maybe that was a price tag in the past. I don't know, it's been on there. This one just says uh, polished and varnished and um, declared port of entry. It doesn't say which port of entry, so either port of entry, they want you to declare it. I do not believe it's anything illegal. It couldn't be. Because then it wouldn't have this this tag. Then it would say hide, hide, don't show anybody. Mm. It's cool. I really like it. I like the colors. It's shiny and I like the design. I mean, it's just a beautiful piece. <laughs> and that looks like a turtle. Like a swimmer. That looks like, like the swimming kind, not the other kind. Oh yeah, look at that. One more item from the glass lady. That is just a beautiful blue. I know I sold one of those uh, different flower, uh, glass flower before. So I know you guys like these. So this will definitely be in an upcoming sale. Probably next week though. I gotta have something good for next week too. And then there are these dishes, which I don't, I don't know if I want to sell them. But again, if you're interested in them, now, now if you believe in G-rated, they may or may not be completely G-rated. 
but they are definitely a very nice piece of work. I end up picking up the whole lot and I'm really happy with them. So some of them have, uh, have, have signatures. I've seen some of them do not, but I'm pretty sure they were done by the same person. I'm pretty sure they came from the same um, here so. A donkey. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. I'm just mesmerized by this work and this one even has a painting on the back, a picture, whatever. I'm just mesmerized by this work. I was thinking home, homemade or hobbyist, but someone actually mentioned that this was a studio work. And this one is signed, right there is the signature. There on the, on the edge, oh yeah, now it's starting to rain. But look at that. I'm just happy with these pieces and no, I'm not in a hurry to sell them. If you would like to purchase them, send me an email. Maybe we can work something out. I hate to split up families, and this is definitely a family. And there it looks like a mark right there. But, of course, I'm always willing to share. So, yeah, those I'm really happy with. And I got a whole bunch more stuff that I'm going to put in my next, in my next video because I just, I just can't do it all in one. I have some rusty and crusty like you know tools and kitchen stuff that I picked up just for the heck of it mostly for my own use or as a gift and of course there's the Arizona piece Arizona souvenir doesn't that say anything on the bottom so but yeah and there is one more item that I can show right now, but two more items actually, because it's a set. A little handkerchief with a little sheep on it. Ain't that cool? Two of them. Same sheep. Happiness, it says. So I may, I may keep those because I use handkerchiefs, especially in this kind of weather. When you get up in the morning and your allergies are saying, Hi Tiger, we're still there. Don't you miss us? And you go, choo! That's when you need those handkerchiefs. I don't use um, paper ones anymore. Yeah, I know, you can argue that the Kleenex type, that they're more more um, hygienic because you only use them once and then you throw them away. Uh, the cloth ones you keep using all over, but you're not supposed to use them all over anyways that way. That's why you have several, have one for each day and use them a couple times and then I go in the laundry. You gotta do laundry anyways, with or without the handkerchiefs. It's not really that big a deal to me, because it's not like I'm doing an extra load of laundry just for them. Then you could bitch about that. But then I always find something to complain about, because that's me. I wouldn't be the tiger if I couldn't find something to bitch about. <laughs> that was what makes life fun. Nah, maybe not. Anywho, I'm going to let you all go now. It's been almost 20 minutes. I like to stick it. Well, my camera wants to turn off after 23 minutes and 54 seconds, I believe. Or was it 51 seconds? But I don't know why. And I know that's the setting. I tried to set to switch the setting for my other camera. It's even worse. It only does four minutes and change. And uh, someone actually told me what I had to do, what setting it had to be on. But that setting doesn't exist on my computer. That must be a setting from before Windows 10. I could not find it. And I cannot get this to, which really bites, because I should be able to record more than four minutes in one, in one piece. Otherwise, to have to edit together four minute videos to make a, well, so much work. And I don't edit anyway, so. But yeah, that's, this is it. And we'll see you all tomorrow morning with my friend Kathy, Picasso Cat. We are gonna have a hell of a sale. It'll be fun. Cool stuff. And then for next week I'll find some new stuff. Cause yeah, I'm I'm buying cool things. I'm hoping you agree. 
I know some of the not so cool things I'm still gonna offer because there's totally cool people out there who want to start a new trend. Like bring back the china, the porcelain. That's gonna be our next hashtag. We're bringing back brooches, we're bringing back clear glass. We need to bring back china. And oh yeah, my trunk up elephant. You know? There. You know how it is. The trusty huckster Patrick and Ka Katie started this, this, um, there. This elephant, trunk down elephant thing because everybody wants trunk up because they're supposedly lucky elephants. Now all these poor trunk down elephants, they get discriminated against. Uh, trunk up elephants get discriminated against. Because now everybody's just talking about trunk down elephants. Nobody wants the trunk up ones anymore. These poor guys. It makes them sad. Really. So I support all animals. Regardless. Trunk up or down, I'm not discriminating. And because so many people are discriminating now, I'm sporting the trunk up elephant. But there are also some trunk down elephants in this house. I admit it. But again, I don't discriminate. I treat all trunk elephants equally. And with that, you all know the deal. You all keep it real. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Kaboom.